femoral artery. The femoral artery is the chief artery of the lower limb. It is the continuation of the external iliac artery and it enters the femoral triangle that is behind to the inguinal ligament at the mid inguinal point. The mid inguinal point is the midpoint of the inguinal ligament. So this is the inguinal ligament. This is the external iliac artery. And this femoral artery is the continuation of the external iliac artery. It runs downward and medially through the femoral triangle. As you can see it here. Here will be the femoral triangle. And it also goes through the adductor canal. And at the lower end of the adductor canal, that is at the junction of the middle one third and the lower one third of the thigh, it leaves the thigh through the adductor hiatus. So this is the adductor hiatus. This adductor hiatus is a tendinous opening in the adductor magnus muscle. So this femoral artery at the lower end of the adductor canal, it leaves the thigh through the adductor hiatus to enter the popliteal fossa where it continues as the popliteal artery. So this artery becomes the popliteal artery. A simple surface marking is done when the thigh is in a position of slight flexion as you can see it here slight flexion abducted and laterally rotated and the upper two-third of the line is drawn from the inguinal ligament that is from the mid inguinal point to the adductor tubercle and this line represents the femoral artery here will be the adductor tubercle in the mid inguinal point now let's talk about the branches so the branches of the femoral artery in the femoral triangle it gives three superficial branches and three deep branches. The three superficial branches are the superficial epigastric artery, the superficial external pudendal artery and the superficial circumflex iliac artery. And it gives three deep branches in the femoral triangle. So the first deep branch is the profunda femoris. This artery is very important. The deep external pudendal artery and the muscular branches. And the branches of the femoral artery in the adductor canal are the muscular arteries and the descending genicular artery. These superficial branches of the femoral artery supply the superficial areas and the skin. So this artery is the superficial external pudendal artery. So this one and it supplies the scrotum and the penis. This artery is the superficial epigastric artery. It runs superior medially towards the inguinal ligament to the umbilicus. So it reaches the umbilicus. And this artery is the superficial circumflex iliac artery. There is a third branch. So this one superficial circumflex iliac artery. This artery runs laterally below the inguinal ligament towards the anterior superior iliac spine and it supplies the skin of the inguinal region. So it runs towards the anterior superior iliac spine and it supplies the inguinal area. And now coming to the deep branches. The first one is the profunda femoris artery. It is also called as deep femoral artery and it is the largest branch of the femoral artery. So this largest branch is the profunda femoris and this profunda femoris artery is the chief source of the blood supply to all the muscles of three compartments of the thigh. It arises from the lateral side of the femoral artery in the femoral triangle that is above 4 cm below to the inguinal ligament that is 4 cm. It gives muscular branches to the muscles and it gives medial circumflex femoral artery, lateral circumflex femoral artery and the perforator arteries. We will talk about it in upcoming video. And the next deep branch is the deep external pudendal artery. So as we saw this is the superficial external pudendal artery and just below to it this artery is the deep external pudendal artery. Always remember pudendal meaning genitals. So as the name indicates the pudendal meaning it supplies to genitals and the genitals they lie to the medial side of the body. So this artery that is going to the medial side 
is the deep external pudendal artery. It just arises below to the superficial external pudendal artery and passes medially deep to the spermatic cord and the round ligament of the uterus. And then it supplies the scrotum and the labium majus. And coming to the branches in the adductor canal, these are the muscular arteries. So these branches are the muscular branches. That means they supply the muscles. And the other branch that is the descending genicular artery. This artery is the descending genicular artery. It leaves the canal by descending within the substance of the vastus medialis muscle. And it divides into the articular and the saphenous branches. And this saphenous branch is also called as the saphenous artery that accompanies the saphenous nerve and it emerges on the roof of the adductor canal. The initial part of the femoral artery that is proximal to the origin of the profunda femoris artery is sometimes called as the common femoral artery by some surgeons and its continuation that is towards the distal part is called as a superficial femoral artery. In this diagram, this is the inguinal ligament. So this is the origin, that is the external iliac artery. And it continues below to the inguinal ligament as the femoral artery. And this diagram shows the course and the extent. This is the mid inguinal point. Till here is the femoral artery in the femoral canal. This is the adductor hiatus. And this is the femoral artery in the adductor canal. After so the adductor hiatus, it continues as the popliteal artery. And now coming to the clinical correlation. The femoral artery can be easily compressed against the femoral head at the mid inguinal point to control the bleeding in the distal part of the limb. The pulsations of the femoral artery are felt in the femoral triangle that is just below to the mid inguinal point. Since the femoral artery is more superficial in the femoral triangle, it is the preferred artery for the cannulation and the injecting of dye to perform the procedures like the angiography. And it is also a preferred vessel for performing the coronary angiography and the angioplasty. So guys, this is all about the femoral artery. If you like my video, do subscribe to my channel. And do look at some of my recent videos and playlists.